Hello, shalom, bonjour à tous. My name is Richie Greenberg. Thank you for joining me today and allowing me to introduce myself to you. I'm new to politics, but certainly not new to serving the public. I moved to San Francisco 15 years ago and brought with me years of experience as a business advisor. I'm a proud husband, a father, and now I want to be your next supervisor for the Richmond District and represent you at City Hall. I was born in New York, raised on Long Island. During my childhood in public school, I learned to be respectful, hardworking, and I challenged my capabilities, both science-minded and in the arts and music. I learned to be a team player, yet worked independently as well. Fast forward to now, in my profession, I earn a living by helping people. I listen to their needs, we come up with a plan together, and then we put that plan in motion. For the past 27 years, I've helped over a thousand individual entrepreneurs, mom and pop shops, and nonprofit startups realize their dreams, serving people from all walks of life, faiths, nationalities, often not even speaking English as their first language. I myself speak four languages, English, French, Spanish, and Hebrew. I've traveled extensively to many parts of the world, which puts me at great advantage over other candidates in that I've developed a worldly perspective, seeing firsthand how things are accomplished elsewhere. I've earned a reputation of being very practical and pragmatic, honest, straightforward, I have a realistic vision, and I stick to my promises, and I say I'm sorry when I'm wrong. So why do I want to be your next supervisor? For me, it's a natural progression in my career, from first offering services to the public to now being a public servant. I've been rewarded by doing an excellent job over the past 27 years, and now I will give back to the community. Here are three many of the many issues I want to address. Making our city more affordable. This is an obvious goal that politicians always mention, but no one has that magic wand to make it happen. I'm going to take real work to make this happen. We need to keep costs down and make salaries higher. We, since we can't really control salaries, though, I will fight to stop rising costs. I will fight adding more and more taxes and assessments on property and on everyday products that we buy. I will fight higher operating costs for our neighborhoods, small businesses, and restaurants because those higher costs could be passed on to us, making San Francisco not so affordable. Housing is another hot topic. I want to ensure the best balance between affordable housing and all housing being built. The problem is we can't build any homes fast enough, and we can't force the builders to build them with prices that we can afford. So I'm ready to listen to all proposals from all sides to work on solutions, including building larger and taller development projects in the appropriate areas of the city. And I will be tough on short-term rental services adding to our housing shortage. Public safety is a big concern, too. We've become a society plagued with distractions. We need to not only take personal responsibility for our controlling use of social media and texting while driving or walking, but we also need to support the efforts of law enforcement in cracking down on violators in keeping our, our city streets safe, pedestrians and bicyclists safe as well. I'm a strong supporter of separating bike lanes and autos wherever possible. I support gun control legislation, and I have the chutzpah to be firmly against the city's sanctuary city policies. Moreover, we need to ensure our police department is fully staffed and fully funded, or the Richmond will suffer with fewer cops walking the beat when we need them to protect us the most. In addition, I want to seriously address the employment practices of many local small startups. I will fight to stop age, gender, and race discrimination in hiring and salaries by enforcing the laws we already have. We should all be hired and paid equally. The current Board of Supervisors often seems to propose laws and policies based on making a statement to be first in the nation. To me, I'd rather be sure any policies make sense first and will be good for the community and not just propose simply to show off. So friends, it's truly been a pleasure to share this time with you. Please visit Richie2016.com for more insight and vote Richie Greenberg for Supervisor of District 1. It will be an honor to serve you. Remember, the Richmond needs Richie. Thank you, merci, gracias, todaraba.